hello assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to a new tutorial and in this tutorial i will tell you how to make bootable os x installer for your hackintosh in this tutorial i will tell you how to make os x mavericks installer on windows for this to, uh, to do you need three things one is a usb drive a flash drive or a portable hard drive second is you need osxmavericks.dmg file which is about 5.5 GB in size and then you need the software named win32 disk imager the version I'm using is 0 0.9.5 and this version is specifically for making OSX Mavericks USB installer so how to do this I will add the link for this application in the description below so you can download it easily once in, uh, once you have installed the application what you have to do is you have to launch the application and once launched you have to open the drive or the folder in which you have placed your OS X Mavericks DMG and moving to that folder once you have moved there you have to open you have to click the, uh, down here disk images and click star dot star and then you have to click your osx mavericks dot dmg and then you click ok and now you have selected your dmg file you have selected your usb drive you have to click write it will show you a warning that this can corrupt your drive and uh, this have and it have corrupted my drives one or once or twice but it only corrupts your usb drive so you are already formatting it if it get corrupts doesn't matter you can just reformat and then you can just retry the installation and now you will click yes and it will start writing on the drive so this is how you make an OS X Mavericks installer DMG on Windows right now I'm using Windows 10 and we will continue this tutorial after this installation is complete so welcome back and now we are done with our installation and we will say we will click OK and we will close this and we will go to my computer and we'll check that now you cannot open the USB drive it will say you have to format it and if you format it if you got a USB greater than uh, around greater than 5 or 6 GB you only get 4 or 8 GB and if you get something greater than 8 GB you will not be able to get back or uh, your unused unmounted uh, system what you call it Un uh, unmounted size for example this is for those who, who want to get their USB back to normal for example if you will format this go to format and it will show you you got only 5.26 GB of partition uh, system space that means the rest of it is somewhere else hidden and if you go to about the same as I got a 64 GB of USB you will not be able to get back that USB area if you will try to format it from here from this front you have to go to create and format and you have to open this virtual management disk management system and in here you have to wait come on boy now in here you have to go down to your USB drive here you can see my USB drive is of 64 GB and 53.35 GB is unallocated you cannot allocate it while using Windows you can do this if you're on OS X and if you want your USB back to normal you have to delete this uh, volume and then this, this these both volume will join together and you will be able to format all of your USB size or volume or you can say space once this is done you can restart your computer and we will boot into OS X installer from there so just to let you know that this USB drive is on master boot record and it will not boot in uh, UEFI system you have to use your legacy system 
but once you are in the installer you can make a UEFI booting or UEFI OS X installation you can install OS X Maverick on a UEFI system using the UEFI so that's all for this let's restart the computer and go to the OS X Mavericks installer so let's start with uh, our Asus motherboard and the motherboard I'm using is Z97 Pro Gamer and this is not an X99 chipset it's oops 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 it all gone oh oh and it's boot into the clover let me restart and we go with our nigger beast oh come on afraid work please please work 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 this weirdest thing of Asus is it goes really slow BIOS and from here we will go to our Kingston DT Droid 3 and we will press enter and boom we got in our Nourish 12495 and from here we will boot so right now uh, my system the last system I used Mavericks on was compatible to work without any boot flags with this Nourish Mavericks uh, bootable installer but this one the Z97 Pro Gamer needs some flags which is minus V and as far as I remember it's uh, NPCI is equals to zero two zero 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 it's zero x zero zero i think all right i think it will work without this uh let, let's try give it a shot let's try it and press enter sorry i'm not using a tripod because i got a tall table and it's really hard to place a tripod near i think screen is coming really good and my hands are not so much shaking and you can read the details that it has mounted all of the drives you can read here it has mounted it's working quite perfectly it's still now now it shows that power management may be incapable but it works oh yes and here it comes so did you saw that it uh i haven't used any i used minus v and minus x and it was quite fast uh, it doesn't take so much time and we go to use English as main language and if everything works all right what you have to do is you have to go to utilities and here you have to go to disk image disk utility sorry and kaboom from here you have to do oh load my drives baby load my drive you have to select one of the drive for example this you have to go to arrays you have to partition and if your motherboard is compatible with UEFI so the basic thing you have to do is you have to go there you have to click partition you have to click one and once you once you will do one you have to click options you have to you select GUID partition table remember this is only for those who have compatible UEFI motherboard not for those who does not have a compatible UEFI motherboard yeah once you have done the GUID partition you have to press OK and you have to name your hard drive and all the stuff and we will not do that close because mm -hmm. I got windows in that once done you have to press continue I agree and remember this is not the original OS X installer this is a destro which is made by Mavericks so once you got this we have to click this you have to go to customization and here is the benefits of a destro so in here you got Chameleon uh, Chameleon standard and Chameleon EFI and you got Clover Clover UEFI standard so if you got UEFI motherboard do select this one else your UEFI motherboard will be totally useless and it will work in uh, default legacy mode and after doing that you have to go to graphics if you're using Intel graphics then you have to select this one this one uh, 
where is it? this one you have to select this one for intel graphics yeah install audio drivers install net drivers leave it as it is this helps sometimes and this is really helpful it always install my internet drivers by default in fake smc click fake smc click all of this all of these uh, are required to read your motherboards sensor sorry for my shaking hand i will use keyboard now hardware monitor application use this one in bootloaders if you're using chameleon then you will have to use these else these are useless chipset drivers go down fix chipset kex replay uh, if you go an acp i prep from uh, you can use replace apple ac acpi else you don't need it in chipset drivers the one i always use are uh, evo reboot and i use ehci party third party this one party sata and uh, yeah null cpu power management if you're using haswell one you does not need null cpu power management but still you can use but you can't but you, it's better not to use any in here laptop driver fix if you're on laptop you can fix there are osx fixes i always use them in other op optimization you can use trim support for ssd and usb and if you are on a virtual machine you can use this virtual machine vmware and that's all you need basically do the, these settings differ for everyone and the most hardcore settings are for those who are using chameleon because you have to go to chameleon and once you're done you have to go to SM BIOS. Let me zoom in because I'm using mobile. Why not zoom in? So if you're using a system, oh come on, boy. Yep. Uh, the best one to start with is Mac Pro 3.1. If this does not work, you can go with iMac 14, 14 or 14, and in boot flags. You can use USB fix. Use this if your USB are not working. USB 3.0. And don't use any of these. That's all basically for Mavericks. And as you know, I made the installer using Windows. And you will press continue and the installation will start. That's all you need. I can just click on one of these, but I literally don't want to because I don't need it I'm on El Capitan and once done it will restart and it will go to something I will show you let's restart so the, after the restart uh, you will come into your BIOS and from here you will go into the Clever UEFI if you have selected Clever UEFI and you will go to simple legacy mode of clever or chameleon if you have selected any different than mine and from here what you have to do is you have to select your hard drive partition in which you install your OS X for me I have named it Mac OS uh, I have named it OS X for Mac OS X and what I have to do is I have to select this and I am using UEFI GUID part a uh, UEFI BIOS settings uh, UEFI bootloader exactly and I'm using GUID partition for my OS X and in my options I'm using these text which are dot is equals to zero NVIDIA underscore DRV x slash dev slash mode is equals to one and rootless is equals to zero rootless is equals to zero is basically for those who are using any latest or any version after 10.9 and i use nvidia underscore dr is equals to one because i'm using a nvidia graphics card which is gtx 670 you don't need to use NVIDIA underscore DRV if you are not using an NVIDIA graphics card. So from here, 
you have to select OS X and press enter for those who are using anything uh, later than for example if you're using Mavericks or something else this will be white and for El Capitan it is black and you will be like strange that why I booted into El Capitan because I was not using I did not install OS X Mavericks I just showed you and from here we successfully boot in to OS Maverick or oh, OS El Capitan that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching guys hope it helped hope you all liked it if you want to thank me for this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to others for their help that's all for this video thanks again hope you liked it give it a thumbs up and meet you in the very next video take care Allah Hafiz Thank you.